In DaVinci Resolve, by default, when we use the spacebar to initiate playback, it's going to continue to play forward until we pause the playback by hitting the spacebar again. And at that point, the playhead is going to stop at that current frame. And when we hit the spacebar again, it's going to continue to play forward. However, this may not always be ideal. And the good news is that we can easily change this default behavior. So let me introduce you to stop and go to last position. And there are two ways to activate it. The first is to go to the playback menu on top and in the menu, simply click stop and go to last position. Or we can go to the pause button in the viewer, right click and then select stop and go to last position. So with that set, let's go ahead and do that. Now with stop and go to last position activated, what you will notice is that when we stop the playback right now by hitting the space bar, it will immediately go back to the previous playhead position. Instead of what we saw earlier, which is stop and play forward, it will now always go back to the previous viewing position. However, there is an exception to this. When we initiate playback using the JKL key and stop the playback by hitting the K key, what you will notice is that it will continue with the default behavior. Therefore, with JKL key, whether stop and go to last position is activated or not, it will always be the same. But what that also means is that with stop and go to last position activated, we now have the luxury of having two playback behaviors at the same time, depending on if you're using the space bar or the K key to stop the playback. And this can be extremely beneficial, especially if your editing scenario requires one over the other. So I hope this uh, tutorial helps guys. And as always, I will see you next time.